wanted to, to read one more thing from a, from, that comes out of my book about two members of the South Side Club. One is this Harry Hollins, broker of William K. Vanderbilt, and the other is this William Breeze, also a broker of William K. Vanderbilt. So Vanderbilt had so much stock, and he, he needed all kinds of brokers to, to, to trade, his, trade his stocks. But these two were both members of the club, and they were presumably friends. Now, I'm going to... I'm going to read you what happened one day. It was in the early summer of 1844 that rumors went around the clubhouse of the Southside Club, right around here, that bad blood had developed between Breeze and Hollins. Apparently in the breakfast room one Sunday morning, a fracas had broken out between the two men, and blows were exchanged. <laughs> Breeze had a fiery temperament and was a strong, powerful athlete. However, all was hushed up and the incident almost forgotten until several years later when the New York Times reported on May 26, 1888, quote, it was a bloodless fight. Two brokers exchanged blows on a boat, a sequel to one of Wall Street's deals that caused considerable talk on the street, end quote. It happened that Breeze and Hollins had only begun their regular summer commute that week and thus had not seen each other for quite a while. Accompanied by B.K. True from Bay Shore and Duncan Wood from Islip, they had boarded the ferry to Wall Street from the LIRR terminal. That's Knapp's Ferry. According to Holland's partner, Wood, quote, we were standing on the forward deck of the ferry boat when Mr. Breeze walked out of the cabin and came toward Mr. Holland's, and from the way he looked, I thought he was going to speak to him in a friendly way. But he said, addressing Holland's, before these men, I want to say that you are a blank. If there weren't women here, I would tell you what that blank was. <laughs> the blank, using an offensive expression. The men came together at once, and a few blows were exchanged. Mr. Hollins's umbrella fell out of his hands. We separated him. We separated the men. Another account of the incident was that a few words passed between Mr. Breeze and Mr. Hollins when Mr. Breeze called Hollins a liar, whereupon Hollins's umbrella went thumping down on Breeze's head, <laughs> followed by a right-hander from Breeze, which knocked Hollins over onto some nearby chairs. This is all on a public ferry. <laughs> More blows followed until the other men on board were able to pull them apart. The incident was all over for the moment, but it was the talk of Wall Street that day, and it was covered by all the daily papers. The New York Times concluded by saying, quote, the social standing of both men is high. 